Bombs for the O's. Wow, I'm going Baltimore. Yesterday was a quiet day for for the Rangers, even if they won. Nine. Yeah, but you kind of jinxy. You hey, kind of. I'm the best. Is this is this about money? It's, yeah. It's... All right, man. Welcome back to Camden. Josh Young did it at the plate and really did it on the field in a game. Lately, though, John, the pitching three games in this postseason, the Rangers have so far three wins, three one-run games. That's it. Three earned runs. And they've got that guy going today, Jordan Montgomery, who dazzled in the first game of this. Moving forward, but I'm telling you, they've been there, done that. This team is relentless. They're not third in DH. Adolis Garcia trying to come back from the four strikeouts in mid-July and that 2.58 ERA since John is third in the AL. In and off we go in game two with a fastball 100. Simeon going one for 14 after an 0 for 5 yesterday. Wonder hit early on. On this 1-1 one -one pitch, Simeon fouls it. His first base hit of this series. Calls balls and strikes. He is a very tight strike zone guy. Ready here first pitch most aggressive guy in baseball first pitch and Corey Seager's the top of the zone. One of the things that the two that has much more since coming back two on one on really really good off speed hit that's the pitch the change up out comes alive and the pitch comes home it's a fastball that misses. On this 3-2, he takes a change up low, and the first two have reached for this is a pitcher that can handle this environment. And he can it's an odd sense in this ballpark, even leading up to first pitch, where yesterday was a part. Board for Mitch Garver, first appearance of the postseason, takes a first pitch curl that fastball when you get a chance to. It is a one, it is a fastball. Thrown two starters, more finesse than the power the Baltimore Orioles are throwing. Nobody out in this first inning. One, two pitch is a fastball that Garver somehow gets through. And we're going to have to stay alive. Now, Kevin Brown, who half the time we get threatened by him. Swing and a miss. The changeup gets Garver. Type action. See how the ball starts up and then just floats. Never gets there. When you're having second for Garcia. Strike one and a high fastball. Grossman. As a team, though, they were able to overcome 16. Make it up after throwing a changeup. Or you can back up that changeup, but I would be. Because he's a guy who you know you can get to expand. Right there, mask hot from Grayson Rodriguez. Pick up of the fastball to sit him down. But if it's away, that's where Garcia can get to the ball. And what a great pitch. And two on, two out. Evan Carter, strike one, perfect fastball. Drop. Now, the one thing we talked about, he won't chase. Two out chance in this first inning. He takes a strike. It's one and two. He has to be away and down where he. If he's going to expand, it will be. Well, they went away. Watch it. Two on, two out, and a 2 2 pitch. Same spot and same. Yeah. Rangers trying to take advantage of this golden first inning opportunity. Go a change up after they pounded in that strike, but they went away, away, and his eyes have been really good. There they go. Here it comes. Grayson Rodriguez just misses inside and currences this postseason. Yeah, this one caught the strike zone, and that's a myth. 25th pitch of this first inning is popped up by Jonah. One time Orioles draft pick. Deck. Strike two. Great pitch. Down here, 0 2 with the bases loaded. You don't have to waste a huge moment to get out for this fan base and get the offense. 2. Fastball lifted to left field. Days and the Rangers leave him. Make him come out of himself and think about swinging at the first pitch mm. after that moment in this game Montgomery's first pitch is outside for ball cutter fastball and that's where he's going to live and I talked we talked about the strike whoa to the former first overall pick Adley Rutschman is in for a strike on a 2-1 pitch Rutschman takes ball three so it comes in the 3-1 that Rutschman gets out of the infield for Nathaniel Lowe oh he does not have to pitch up he will rarely pitch up so he wants Castle. Now you may look at that, John, and say, well, wait a minute, you don't want to throw strikes, but the point for he'll have to come into the strike zone. And you touched on it a little bit, a lot of times. You get a scouting report that says, get him in the strike zone. Well, easier said. Seen it so many times and obviously been to the postseason 14 years in a row. It.
About a two-one pitch. Ryan Mountcastle takes a shot. I thought it never happened before, but we found out that it happened at least one other time. A deck. Two-two. That stadium get loaded up like that. Fouled off. And barely that stays alive. is a fact. He goes with on two-two to Mountcastle. It is a fastball in the shot. Starters that three-two. More chop. Right side low. Raced. Well, I said you never know what is going to be two for three with a home run. After a 28 during the round. 0 oh and 2. So almost 90% of his breaking pitches are out of the zone. Go Corey Seager. So if you know it's stretched the last 10 innings, no earned runs. He just does enough of that to frust. Two out, Gunnar Henderson takes in the dirt. To bullet this point. He is, and he'll throw a higher percentage of fastballs to left-handers, believe it. Breaking pitch, one and one. Four on his postseason debut yesterday. On this one and one pitch. And now getting to that curveball. Aaron Hicks missed the hit and run sign. And Henderson was left aggressive on the bases, had those things backfire yesterday. A ball on. And the all-star Hayes. Lips it foul. Runners on base all year. Runners that tie this efficient base running team. Strikes. Got there a curveball right there. Yeah. And that is one of those guys who talk. Texas had a chance in the first inning. First and second, nobody out, didn't score. One two from Jordan Montgomery is another curve. This one he lays off. He wanted to. And a really good take right here. But these are the most. Hayes looking for that two out knock. Oh, that is a heck of a take, man. Runners take off. Payoff. Breaking ball. Spoiled. To make any pitch you need to, and that 3 2 pitch right there was in his mind. That was the one. Another 3 2 pitch from Jordan Montgomery. That was one one pitch. Henderson. Ball forward to load the well, both teams now bases loaded and two outs. A little bit of pressure on team himself is at the plate right now. Yeah, baseball being the wonderful writer that is about him yesterday as the lone guy in this lineup that has any kind of postseason experience and strikes out soon after that. But in the first inning, that first pitch is middle to middle in. He's going to let it fly. Otherwise, he's going to take at least those. Can the Orioles? A ball on Hicks. Hicks, Aaron Hicks, fouls it off. That was the one right there. That was numbers. But there's the one that the Oriole hitters. Oh. Hicks, a patient hitter. Nowhere to put him here. Two balls and a strike. Here comes Montgomery. Hicks fouls it off. But right-handed pitchers are fastballs in. Because he pitches away, he has the... One run is in. Here comes Henderson. Four. The inning started with a high chopper. Two outs. A breaking ball. A rip. Game two. Now Jordan Westberg. First and third. Two away. Ball one. Part of that second pitch of his first inning is bounce left side for Young. We go to second. Tunity. Aaron Hicks, the GOAT yesterday, gets him going. After his two-run single, has the Orioles in front. In game situation in the first inning. Bottom part of the order, Nathaniel Lowe. And they were able to score those runs, and so it feels doubly great, right? The team in the standings have been coming back within games, coming back within series. I mean, look at three offense. times the within one question game. Mark is they do use to, to do the damage. Those Got are the in series games today. It's a leadoff walk American for Nathaniel Lowe. Let's take a look at today's same game parlay sponsored by Fan Duel. Josh Young yesterday. You haven't been there. Is how and the home run that was the difference on the score. Starts his He's had it more than There's anybody no in baseball. And you were talking yesterday, John, about how hard the manager is in training. He says, you're going to be in there every day. You are, if you handle the defense. 25-year-old Rook passes is Ivy Westberg. Counts like this. First inning plus. Giving Texas its first base runner of the day. This year, and a good for the hit. Didn't crush it, but. Gives a little bit more top to bottom. Now, Grayson. On an 0-2 pitch here. Tonight, Tavares, who finally has had a good postseason. They've had a lot of success against him. And they've had a lot of slug against him. But what he's the Orioles. 
lot of in a different direction, so I'm glad for them. Totally different guy. Top pitching prospect the Orioles have had in decades. He was on the verge of getting the top up about a weekend. Had a 735 over his first 10 splits. He's 1-0 to Tavares. And a swing to another five. But a few days to get that shoulder rest. Fast ball to the bottom of the zone. The Rangers really need a guy just turned 21. He just got to the major league. It does, and that's a gift. And, and, and it never so looks like he's throwing hard. Dome with a one-two. Oh, Reddish from first. Who also really is eager to add the pitch. Ball ball and get the word totality and, again. and go that away from up, throwing your breaking ball. He cannot do that. Bottom Showing of the order gets it done here in the second. You do oh, Rodriguez whips it in this game. game. That Here's could have been one on Josh that Young. Was a, what Dang, started the man, season this game. On his three line, Henderson fouls it off. And the catch it. Had rediscovered their form here in Baltimore. Strike on Jordan Westberg. And it's Garcia to stab it in front of the center fielder. He says, I'm the captain. This walked his first time. No. Takes upstairs for ball one. Yeah, this is the wrong guy. 13 down. times oh. up this postseason. Fouls off his fastball. Andrews in 220. Two down. His first one to Corey Sears. Salivate. Ball three. If one away is a 3 1 pitch. Pops it up, fought the Dodgers, went to the postseason all seven of those years and signed the record contract. Payoff to Seager. Target set up. That's where he goes. Dome with the one two. Two. I'm seeing playoff Corey Seager versus regular season and regular season. It's in third for Garver. Change ups. Back to back change ups. As you don't want to be. Ups. This one's put in play and Squixis is in front. Play for Grayson here. This one's right at the squirt off. Not in time. And man, these Rangers got the machines to hit off of breaking balls. They've got everything at their disposal, but they have to exit. This is 1 1. The turn comes in to score a four spot for counts, and they actually have the crooked number three. Or more all down doesn't play the same as his fastball up, and they've taken advantage of it. Strike one on Evan Carter. They've already got five hits and four walks against three. Now the fifth hitter in this inning, he's gotten to two strikes. Where they've beaten him has been down. He... Poke left side. Mateo's got it. Garber to third, first and third. Four in the bank. Three first second third for Hyde, who swings and misses at a fastball. I mean, they were they were stressing over. Hyde, who flied out his first time, swings through this fastball, and it's Owen. Back to the high fastball, and Heim swats it through the left side. Base hit. Excellent hitting, and exactly where they wanted the ball. 